guys, welcome to Church at Home. I'm Christina and I've got a question for you. Do you love solving a good mystery? If so, raise your hand. I definitely love solving good mysteries, right? There's all the detectives and like sneaking around. At Connect HQ today, Dot's working on solving a mystery of her own. And that reminds me of our point. Repeat after me. God, please help me learn and see the truth that you are teaching me. Nice job, everybody. So now let's go to Connect HQ as they take us into worship. Believe it or not, I'm not the best singer or dancer in the world. Maybe you are, or maybe you're not either. But guess what? We can still worship God with our singing and dancing. Worship isn't about how good we are. It's about how good God is. And I know that God loves it whenever we connect to Him together at church. So sing loud and dance for Him with all you've got. Let's get up on our feet and let's connect with God together.
What are you working on, Dot? I've decided to start Dot's Digest back up. I'm waiting on my first big story. You're waiting on your first big story? Then what's all this? Just making sure my fingers are limber for when that story finally comes along. I don't want to waste any time getting it to print. Sarah and the Quiet Time Group just got a new puppy and brought it to work today. Maybe you could write about that? No, that's too normal. I want to report on something different, something strange and colorful, something no one's even heard of before. I want my readers to say things like, what? Really? I didn't even know that was a thing. Hey, Dot, um, I have this hat and this trench coat, and I tried to make it work with the rest of the outfit, and I couldn't do it. And then, like, I wanted to wear the hat and the other hat, but my head's not big enough. I tried for an hour. Do you want them? Sure. Here you go. I'm not sure what you're looking for exists at Connect HQ. Yeah, I might be waiting a while. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is the time I set out to find the truth. Come on, something interesting has to happen sooner or later. It felt like I had been waiting for days. I knew the perfect story was out there, somewhere. It just hadn't shown itself yet. Dun, dun, dun. One new message. I shouldn't have been surprised that Mike's laptop would have such a dramatic message alert noise. And as my luck would have it, the drama was only getting started. We need to talk. Connect HQ's in trouble. Meet me down in the basement. I had no idea who sent the message, but I knew in my gut, this was it. This was what I had been waiting for. The chance to uncover the new story of a lifetime. I had to get down to the basement, and quick. As I arrived, I couldn't help but wonder why a snitch would want to meet here. If I knew Connect HQ was in trouble, I would want to shout it from the rooftops and bring in all my friends to help. What kind of shady character would ask for a secret meeting in the basement? Hello? <laughs> Hello, Dot. It was Claire, the kid from the neighborhood. She's cute, but don't let her looks fool you. She knows more about what goes on at Connect HQ than most people. You sent me that email? Yeah, I knew if anyone could help me, you could. Tip you meant, tell me what you know. Well, the Connect board is closing Connect HQ. Wait, does that sound sync with my watch now? When did that happen? Sorry, Claire, don't be a bunny. I'm not sure where you dug up that information, but... I saw an email sent from the Connect board to Captain Alyssa, which read that they're closing Connect HQ. Really? You saw the email? With my own eyes? I knew Claire wouldn't feed me a line, especially not about something like this, which meant there was only one thing I could do. We need to investigate. We need to follow the facts and figure out what's true. Are you sure we're old enough to do this? Of course I am. And besides, God can help us. God, please help me learn and see the truth that you are teaching me. That's a really good point. God, please help me learn and see the truth that you are teaching me. Now, enough of this dilly-dally. Show me where you saw that email. Sure thing, follow me. I was uneasy as Claire and I took our first steps into the hub. What would we discover? Was Connect HQ really in a jam? I didn't want to waste any time finding out. You have no new messages? I had been hoping this story would be duck soup, but I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. Someone must have already deleted the message. I can't believe it. It must have been a cover-up. Break it up, Claire. Just because the email isn't there doesn't mean someone is trying to hide the evidence. Sometimes our feelings tell us something might be true, but our feelings aren't always right. 
If we're going to figure this out, we need to go to sources we can trust. Sources we can trust? What does that mean? When you want to know what's true, you need good sources. Sometimes that might mean talking to a parent or a teacher. Other times you might find the truth through an educational video or an app that your parents or teachers give you permission to use. But if we're going to get to the bottom of this story, we need to find a source here at Connect HQ. Dun, dun, dun. One new voice message. So, uh, I don't want to worry anyone, but if anyone else has heard something, uh, recently about the future of Connect HQ, um, come find me. I'm freaking out here. I know what source we're gonna track down next. Mike looked like a mess. I wondered if someone made the mistake of giving him a cup of joe. But as he glanced toward me and Claire, I could tell there was something else weighing on him. What are you two doing here? We heard your message. Oh yeah? Well, what do you know? That's what we came here to ask you. Out with it! What's the rumble? I don't even know if I should be talking to you two. This seems like a conversation that I should have with Alyssa. Plus, I don't know if I'm up for figuring out what's true or not. Don't be a palooka, Mike. We can figure out the truth together. Here, can I see your tablet? Sure. Watch this. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. is alive. After Paul became a Christian, he traveled from town to town with his friend Silas, teaching people the good news about Jesus. But not everyone wanted to hear about Jesus. Some people in a town called Thessalonica got so worked up by what they were hearing that they chased Paul and Silas out of town. But Paul and Silas didn't let this stop them. They went on to the next town, a place called Berea. The Bereans, the people who live in Berea, were different from the people Paul and Silas met in Thessalonica. When they heard Paul and Silas speak about Jesus, they were open-minded and listened to what they had to say. Not only that, but after they heard the good news, they went to the Bible to investigate. They wanted to see whether Paul and Silas's words matched up with what the Bible said. They discovered that Paul and Silas were speaking the truth. And as a result, many Bereans made the choice to believe in Jesus. When we're looking for the truth, it's a good idea to follow the Bereans' example. And there are lots of ways we can. We can be open to learning. We can listen to people teach. We can pray about the things we hear. And we can search the Bible to see whether this new information holds up. You're getting old enough to read the Bible on your own, pray on your own, and seek God on your own. If you follow after Jesus in these ways, He will reveal the truth to you. See, Mike, the story of the Bereans shows us that we can figure out what's true. They were open-minded and listened to Paul, but still tested what he said by searching for the truth in Scripture on their own. We can be the same way by being open to learning, listening to what other people have to say, and praying for what we hear. We can figure this out together, just like the Bereans. Okay, fine. Here's what I know. Maurice told me earlier today that while he was in the air ducts, he heard Alyssa talking to someone saying that the Connect HQ board was going to close down Connect HQ. And all the field offices. What? The story's even bigger than we thought. Maurice heard Alyssa say this. Word for word. You sure this is some kind of grift? Uh, I mean, it was something like that. I'm pretty sure I got the gist of it. Track down Maurice. I want to hear exactly what he heard Alyssa say. Where are you going now? I'm going to get on the horn. It's time to call the Connect board. I 
was ready to put this story to rest. And as far as I was concerned, there was no better source than the Connect Board itself. Are you sure it's okay for you to call the Connect Board? Is that even allowed? They're the only ones who can put us wise. And I don't think we have any other choice. with you guys. Something terrible might be happening, but I don't know for sure. I can't figure out what's true and what isn't. I don't know what I should do next. You know what? I've been reading up on spiritual truth for this postcard question we got earlier today. Spiritual truth? What does that mean? Spiritual truth is about knowing what's true and important in God's eyes. That sounds confusing. It may seem that way at first, but what it really means is following Jesus and learning more about Him and the Bible along the way. We can do that by listening to the Holy Spirit and learning from trusted adults. Like the Bereans did. Yes, they were a great example of people who learned God's truth. And I think I figured out that if we don't know what to do next, we should ask, what will help me love God and love others more? If we can answer that question, that will lead us towards the truth. What do you think, Dot? How can we love God and love others right now? I guess I haven't checked in with God since we started our search. Maybe I should ask him for help. That sounds like a great idea. God, you know how much we love Connect HQ and helping others come to know you. I just can't believe that the Connect board would close us down, no matter what an email may or may not have said. Please guide us to the truth, God. In Jesus' name, amen. There was a Connect board email about closing Connect HQ? Claire saw it, but we can't find it. It must have been deleted. Follow me. I had no idea what Harper had up her sleeve, but after asking God for help, I knew one thing for certain. I had peace about whatever plan she had in mind. So are you going to perform some kind of computer hacker magic to recover the deleted email? I'm gonna look in the deleted email folder. Let's see. Oh, here we go. The email says that due to the raccoon problem at HQ and multiple field offices, the board is going to send in professionals two weeks from today to capture the raccoons and remove them. As a result, HQ and all the field offices will be closed for that day. A day? That's all? That's all. The truth of the story was so simple and different from what we expected. I can't believe we didn't see it sooner. Don't be so hard on yourself. In fact, I think I know a verse that might help. Do you want to say it with me? Sure. It's from the book of John, chapter 17, verse 17. It goes like this. John 17, 17. John 17, 17. Make them holy by your truth. Make them holy by your truth. Teach them your word, which is truth. Teach them your word, which is truth. Jesus prayed that God would make us holy and pure and teach us what's true. But understanding what's true and what's not isn't something that happens overnight. We learn it over time as we follow Jesus more and more. I'm so glad God's a good teacher. Me too. So what are you going to do now? This news hawk has a story to write. But I think there's something I should do first. Hey there, it's me, Dot, and I'm part of Connect HQ. I have a great verse that I'd like to share with you. It goes like this. John 17, 17. Make them holy by your truth. Teach them your word, which is truth. Jesus prayed this prayer for us that God would make us holy and pure and that he would teach us what's true. The truth meant a lot to the Bereans when Paul and Silas visited them. When they heard Paul's teaching about Jesus, they were open-minded and searched for the truth in scripture. They wanted to make sure they knew what was right. When we're searching for the truth, it's a good idea to follow the Bereans' example. 
don't rely on your feelings or others' opinions. If you're looking for facts, try talking to trusted adults, reading articles, and watching educational videos and apps. And don't forget about spiritual truth. You can learn what's important to God by following Jesus, reading your Bible, talking with others, and asking the question, does this help me love God and love others? And you can always say, God, please help me learn and see the truth that you are teaching me. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. I finished the first draft of my story five minutes ago. Claire's giving it a first read. I can't wait to hear what she thinks. What? You're at that part, huh? Oh no! What? Oh. I completely forgot that happened, and I wasn't even there for that. She's so close to the end. So? Not bad. It isn't always easy to know what's true and what isn't. But when we follow Jesus, He teaches us day by day how to see the truth. Would you like to make the choice to follow Jesus, make Him your leader and number one friend? If so, all you need to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice? If so, be sure to talk to a parent or a leader you trust. If you made that decision today, make sure you talk about it with a trusted adult. We want to know. We are so excited for you because that's the greatest decision that you could ever make. We have a verse that we learned today. Let's say it together. John 17, 17. Make them holy by your truth. Teach them your word, which is truth. Nice job. God's truth is something to love and trust, but not everything we hear is true. False stuff is worse than slimy trash. Throw it away from your heart and mind as fast as you can. Let's play a game about that. I'll say something and you decide if it's truth or if it's trash. If it's true, give me a thumbs up over your head like this. If it's trash, pretend to wad it up like a stinky, slimy ball of trash and throw it far, far away. Okay, here we go. If I feel like something's good and true, then it's always good and true. What do you think? Truth? Trash? Yeah, that one's trash. Let's throw it away. If I find out I believe something untrue, I can trust God to help me find what is true. Truth? Trash? What is it? That's right, that one's truth. Good job. As soon as I start following Jesus, I'll know everything about what's true and what's not. What's that? Yeah, that one's trash. Let's wad it up and throw it out of here. When I follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit lives in me and helps me learn God's truth. That one's truth. Good job. God's truth is always good for us. And when we start to follow Jesus, He will be with us for the rest of our life, showing us God's truth. We've got some questions for you and your family to talk about together. I'll see you guys later. We're